But these are palms. Look, the professor wants to... <gasps> Holy cow, man. You beat all of these cure clones all by yourself? who participated in the KOF would have an enormous difficulty to take down at least two clones. But, but this guy, he takes down a good dozen of Kyo clones without sweating. Santo Senor! Nameless, what are your dreams? Dreams? What is that? What is... dreams? <laughs> you silly boy, you don't know what a dream is? Let's say that it's what you hope to do in the future, something that you really wish. Wish? I have no wish. The only thing I do is serve the officials of Nests. To obey their every command, and subjecting myself to endless of painful experiences. That is the only life I know. How I can have time for futile things like wishes and dreams. Those are nothing but words. We are nothing but products. Objects to accomplish the purpose of Nests. That is what the Nest agents keep telling us. That is false. Please, Nameless, don't say that. It is so sad to hear that. Don't lose hope. Hope is the last thing to die. And we are not products. We are human beings. We can feel and cry. We... We do everything that a normal human do. I refuse to believe in the words they say to us. I'll tell you what. I will tell you my dream. Your dream? Yes, I have the huge desire to see the world. Uh, see the world? Of course, silly. I am sure that the world is not just laboratories and training fields. I'm sure that this world has to show that it met the eye. I want to explore every inch of this world, to learn every language, every culture, and most of all, I want to meet people. This is my dream. Will we ever be free? Yes, I have high hopes that one day we will be free. I believe it with all my heart. And when that day comes, you will come with me, Nameless. Yes. You know what? But I can... I cannot go with you. Dog, I just came to warn you that the professor said that we are leaving for a new mission at sundown. We are going to Portugal to bring Kula Diamond with us. Very well. I'm just going to rest for a little while and I do not wish to be disturbed. You know, he is just as grumpy as k 49 were. What is the status? Krauser is still alive, but barely injured, as well as all of his servants. I saw those wounds before on many soldiers, and I can say that it will take months to heal. I still cannot believe that anyone could leave Krauser in such state. 
I still remember when I first participated in KOF. I saw Crosser's fighting abilities. It made me understand how he became so troublesome for Terry Bogart, and how even Giz Howard is afraid of him. Whoever attacked Crosser must be a very terrible foe. Ma'am, who are we up against this time? Leona, Ralph, report. Sir! Sir! Krauser is alive, but in terrible condition, sir. And by judging of how we can see the conditions of this castle, Krauser was attacked by the same people who attacked Sho, Jimmy, and Billy Lee, as well as other fighters. This is so peculiar. The victims are well-known fighters for their skills and their accomplishment in taking down crime syndicates. None of those fighters participated in the KOF, unlike Krauser. There is no connection here. Who can our enemies be, and what are they planning? Sir, I have news. What is it? One of Krauser's servants managed to speak, sir. He revealed the identity of some of the attackers. He said at least a good group of the attackers were similar to Kyo Kusanagi. In appearance and attacks, sir. Kyo clones? So that means? Yes! It must be the remaining agents that got away. So all these attacks were just another way for them to gain data like they always do. That would explain why they attack fighters that never participated in the KOF. To draw my attention away. Hurry! We must find Muchiko and K immediately! Go after them? What for? Our enemy must be near in accomplishing their goals. How else would we explain why they reveal themselves by attacking Krauser? We must find them! Sir! For what we know, after the end of the tournament, they have installed themselves in Europe, in a small village in Portugal. Good. Then there is where we must go. But why is it important to find Kay and his team? I know that they defeated Ignis and destroyed Ness, but isn't it a bit risky for them to reveal themselves by attacking Kay? Even they're not that foolish. Yes, I know. But among the Ness agents that managed to escape us, Chrysalid is one of them. And we all know how much he hates Kay and how much he adores Muchiko. Who knows how many people he will be willing to destroy to obtain his desires. Now go! Sir! Sir. Hey, kid. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Nothing. I just want to be alone. You got something on your mind, kid? It's because of Kula, isn't it? Don't you start with me, too! Whip has been annoying me all month because of Kula, saying that I'm treating her bad, and- You are! You've been treating her horribly. And I don't mean in that bad kind of way. I mean in that stay far away from me bad. You're not making any sense. I'm saying that despite your cold attitude towards Kula, that you actually don't want her to stay away from you. The question is why? Yeah, right. You think you got me all figured out? Man, can't you be honest for once? I've known you for a long time, kid. And I'm starting to get the hang of how your rogue mind works. You protected Kula from many dangers ever since she showed up in the King of Fighters. Even when she started out as your enemy, you always made sure that she stayed out of harm's way. And now you're acting like this. So come on, just between the two of us. Why are you treating Kula like this? I do as I please. If I want to treat Kula like trash, then I'll... <sighs> okay, fine. I'll tell you, but you're forbidden to tell this to anyone. Got it? <laughs> of course. I just... I don't know. Ever since I fought Kula during KOF 2000, I felt like I knew her. My instincts just told me not to harm her. That's why I didn't let her fall in that pit. Last year when we fought Agnes, I started to have flashbacks from my past. When 
I was a kid. I remember a training camp. I saw dozens of other kids, more or less my age. All of them seemed so frightened, but there was one girl who was always smiling. It was Kula. She was the one who always stood by my side, comforting me in my difficult times. Day by day, we always trained together, walked together, play together. <laughs> she even shared some of her treats with me. But then, the worst part came. Day by day, each group would be taken away by some man who was always keeping an eye on us. And the last thing I recall was seeing Kula being taken away by two guards, crying. That means that you and Kula knew each other from childhood. Who'd have guessed? That does explain a few things. Wait. So Kula wasn't chosen by chance to take you down. Nest used her to mess with your head. Ugh. Those sons of... Wait. That still doesn't explain why you're treating Kula like crap. Don't you get it? Nest took everything from me. My family, my home, and my memories. I wanted to make them pay. I wanted to inflict on them the pain that they inflicted on me. I had my revenge, but there's still some people out there that want me dead. You think I want to see Kula taken away from me again? For good? <sighs> That's why putting her aside is the best choice I have. I want her to choose a life without my problems weighing her down. Wow. The kid really let it out of his system. I've never seen Kate open up like this. So in short, you're breaking up with Kula so she can be safe. You think you can live with that? It's a heavy burden. Trust me. Stop talking like we're a couple, okay? I've made my decision, so just drop it. Okay, I won't talk about it. I ain't your dad, and I can't tell you what to do. But let me tell you the story of this guy I know. He was a proud Canadian soldier who had great friends, and a wonderful woman that he was engaged with. When the woman said yes, it was the happiest moment of his life. But then disaster occurred. The soldier's best friend was captured by an evil organization. The soldier offered to aid his best friend, but his superiors warned him that the mission was considered suicide. And if the soldier agreed to carry on with this mission, he would have to do it without any knowledge of his existence. The soldier agreed to those terms, but the worst part was, he had to abandon the woman that he loved. You're talking about yourself. Aren't you? Yeah. I remember a few weeks after KO of 99, you watched a wedding in secret. I noticed how you were paying so much attention to the bride. She was your woman, wasn't she? Yes. Before I left for my mission, I told my woman to forget about me and start a life of our own. I knew I'd never return from that mission. It hurt so much to see her cry like that. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. With the irony of it all, I lost my best friend. I was turned into an android, and I abandoned the woman I loved. I sacrificed so much and ended up losing everything. And the worst part of it all, this guilt that I still have to live with. I had an entire life of happiness right in front of me, and I threw it away.